What uh, do you feel, Frankie, was the lowest moment of, of your run in Impact? Oh, boy. Anytime I had to do a job, <laughs> which was a lot. No, I'm kidding. Uh, uh, so it's probably no secret at this point that I had to portray the suicide character. And um, uh, this was was I was tasked with this in the middle of 2008, again, coming off a great fall, having matches with Christian and Kurt and Booker T and Bobby Roode and and really kind of finding my feet as a guy that could be in the heavyweight division, not just an X division wrestler. Cause I'm certainly not just an X division wrestler. I'm, I'm not an X division wrestler at all. I just, I kind of got grouped in with a bunch of guys that were, uh, and I really thought I was like, you know, I, I, I was from an in-ring perspective. I was, I was really finding my feet. Uh, and all of a sudden they just presented me with this character and I could not get a straight answer. Why? When I talked to Dixie, when I talked to Jeff, when I talked to Vince Russo, when I talked to everybody, it was just, we need somebody we can trust in this, in this role. And, and I, I fought it and I fought it and I fought it and I fought it and they were having none of it. So they put me on this mask and they put me in this bodysuit and just kind of cut my legs off. And for the next year and a half, I got injured. I tore my bicep and my tricep while I was doing that character and just stopped any momentum I had. And really, you know, that was probably the darkest I've ever been darkest place I've ever gone to professionally where it was, you know, Kurt, I don't know if you've had days like this. I mean, you're such, you love the business. I know as much as I do, but when you just go to work and it's like, why am I still doing this, man? Like, it's just like, I'm just, I'm just, it's, it's draining. I'm, it's not fun anymore. It's not, I'm, it's not, you know, I'm not finding my passion. I'm not enjoying this. And thankfully that didn't last too long. Thankfully it was only, you know, about two years. And, and I want to ask you a piggyback off that. How did you fight your way out of that and, and start to find your way back, man? What was the turning point for you? Well, I mean, again, I, you know, once I, once I uh, came to the realization that I was doing this character, I thought, okay, man, let's take it as a challenge. I tried to change the way I hit the ropes. I tried to change my moveset completely. I wanted this character to be something different than Frankie Kazarian. Uh, and I started pitching ideas about the character, which again, fell on deaf ears at the time. Management was different and a little bit difficult. Gotcha. Uh, and, you know, Ultimately, one day I got a call for an email from Terry Taylor and said, uh, please bring your Frankie Kazarian gear to TV. And I was like, thank God. <laughs> and you thank God. And they kind of just threw me back in the mix. You know, there was no pomp and circumstances. They just put me in a match and and slowly but surely, you know, I was suicide and cast simultaneously for a couple of weeks and then that was gone and passed on to the next poor schmuck that had to do it. So you know, so, hey, you know what blew my mind? That they put a mask on someone as good looking as you. Ah, oh, you sweetheart. Uh, you know what? Uh, no. <laughs> you know what, Kurt? I remember. I remember talking to you about this, uh, and I was real down, and I was telling you what was going on, and uh, just you know, I was like, "Yeah, this sucks." Blah blah blah. And I remember at the end of the conversation, you said, "Well, you're a great wrestler, man. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna figure this thing out. Don't worry about it." And that meant a lot to me, coming from you, because I know you're not the type to just blow smoke and everything. And I was like, "Okay, man, that's you know, that's encouraging to hear." That so that really. That really helped me mentally. So thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank 13 you. years later. Yeah. 